In this video, we're going to look at piecewise functions. They are functions that um, are different depending on the domain. So the graph of a piecewise function might look something like this, where we have a change in the function. So here's the definition. I'll give you a moment to read that. So this example here shows that we have one linear function that has a gradient clearly greater than zero, a positive gradient. And here we have a function where we have the gradient is zero. So this function depends on the domain. So when we are in this section here, this, is, this has a gradient of 1. Every time we go along 10, we're going up 10. The gradient is 1 and it crosses the y-axis at 10. This is the function x plus 10. But this function only happens when x is between 0 and 20. So we write that like this. So this function is defined between 0 and 20. Then we have this function, which is just x, uh, y equals 30. And that happens when x is bigger than 20. Let me put in a great big curly bracket here. And that is how a piecewise function is defined. From a piecewise function, we can plot graphs. Or we could have the graph and we define the piecewise function. We can then find different values when we're given the x. Let's look at how that works. So here we have a piecewise function. It's linear, so this would be a horizontal line. This is a line with a negative gradient, negative 1 crossing at the y-axis at 7, if it were to be valid for x equals 0. So when we're using a piecewise function, we need to know which part of the function we're using. So for f of 0, that happens in here. So we use this one for f of 0 because our x is between minus 2 and 3. So f of 0 would equal 4 f of 6, however, would be using this function because our x is between 3 and 7. So we then have to put this into the function. We would have minus 6 plus 7. So f of 6 would equal 1. So this part, when we're finding the value, we would use this function because our x was in this range, the domain, this part of the domain. And here we'd be using this function because 6 is in this part of the domain. When we state the domain, we would be using all sections. This function is valid for the set of values of x such that x is between minus 2 and 7. It uses both parts. Just because it's piecewise doesn't mean that one's more important than the other. Now, plotting the graph. This is relatively straightforward, doing it by hand. It's just two straight lines that you'd be plotting and you'd make sure that you got the intersection correct and you were drawing them in the right domains. When we do it on our calculators, we can do it in the graph section. And if you want to clear that and clear that. So we would type in the functions that we are using. So we have f of x equals 4. And we use this comma. And it's in shift 
brackets is in the region between minus 2 and 3. So if I type it in like this, you can, yeah, I am setting the domain that it's working within. Then I do the same for the next one, so negative x plus 7. And I want it to act on the domain where we have x between three and seven under the domain definition. And then I draw it, change my view window because I'm in a strange one where my domain is minus two to seven. So minus two If you don't know what to choose for your view window, minus 10 to 10 always works quite nicely. And from that you can check. And there is our wonderful piecewise function. We can use our Y calc still, so you can press G solve. Y calc, so we can put in a value for x. So, like we did in part a. With with this, you still have to choose which function is the most appropriate. So for part a, part one, we want f of zero. So we want x equals zero. So we're going to want this line. This one's flashing. I press yes, that one, and I put in my value of zero, and it says y equals four. If we do it again for part two, I do a y calc. And then I actually want to use this part of the function. So I press the across arrow. The down arrow, sorry. And that part one's flashing. And I put in my value six. And I get y equals 1. So that's um, what a piecewise function is, how we can write it from the graph, how we can use it if we've just got the definition, the equations, and how we can plot the graph on our calculator.